and all out of that. So if I go back to my main interface, you'll see there's a new version in there, version 8.15, with a little comment that I added earlier. Uh, it says it comes from editorial. You have this little Q icon right here, which means it stands for QuickTime. As soon as you click on that, it will open the reference QuickTime from editorial on either a QuickTime player or V or VLC, or whatever media uh, playback tool you want to use. Um, and just clicking on that version will actually open it for you in place. All right. So the first thing you'll notice is that those first three boards, they didn't used to be called ref. And I'll come into the naming convention in a couple of seconds. But they used to be called something like 1559. This is just a naming that Flix assigns to every board. Now they're called ref1, ref2, and ref3. And that's because we added some effects to those boards. In that case, it was a track over it that says Flix. So now it says Flix on top of our uh, sweater. It looks like a Flix shirt, which is really cool. Um, so you can see that directly in there. Same thing for this panel, for example, we added. So we did some color correction directly in Premiere, and also we added a camera move. So if I play that back, we have a very dramatic camera move in there. So this is pretty cool. You see all that in Flix directly. And the best thing about it is it, it will actually keep the link to the original storyboard. Because if I look at this, this is just a frame that Flix grabbed from a QuickTime. So if I double click on that, like you would for any other revision, this is just a flat JPEG. If you're a story artist, you spend time just working on that PSD file, having a bunch of layers, organizing your work. If you op open this file and you see a flat JPEG, you're not going to be happy at all. So Flix maintains a link to that original PSD file. So if I click on this part that says red, in the related column right here, this is a link to the original file. So all I have to do is click on this little Photoshop button. Flix will find that original uh, Photoshop file with all of my layers, and I can actually you know, make my revisions in there. So in that case, uh, it said Flix on her sweater, so we can actually write something like that here. Thanks. There you go. Uh, and again, Command S, I'm just going to save that, and Flix will automatically replace uh, this board. Same thing for the camera move. You have your camera move in there, but you want to make a change to the actual board. You can do that yourself, and when you send it back to editorial, all they have to do is uh, replace the underlying uh, board with a new one, and they can just reapply the same effect that they had before in there. All right, and so now we made a revision. It's time to go to editorial again. So we can actually generate a contact sheet. I'm just going to click on that really quickly. And that will help your editorial department figure out what's new. So in that case, really the only thing that we changed since the last publish is that we opened this board and we wrote Flix in there. So if I generate that contact sheet, Flix will show me every board you have in that sequence and will highlight the boards that are new since the last publish. So if I click on that, you know, you'll see that this is the only board that is new in there. If you can scroll down, you won't find any other new board in there. Um, same thing if you publish to Premiere this time, you'll have an XML again with all the boards and everything, but you also have a, an XML that only has that one new board that you changed. So you can just import that and you know put everything in one track and you have the, the new version of your edit.